hi to Chaco. Here's the Archmage. So lame. And here is the Footman. It's, it's not lame. I mean, this guy was so, uh, saying so lame. I'm not saying the Archmage is lame. Hello. I was just like talking about the Archmage and then this guy just happened to say so lame. So I, I said so lame. It's not lame, guys. Go Archmage. Again, the hero overlay doesn't seem to work, but okay. Oh well. Yagami creeping over here. Gets a belt of giant strength. What about the fact? The fact. He is, of course, the pride of Sweden. Together with the other Swedish top players. And uh, he is killing a lot over here. There's a whole bother on this militia. The rock columns going down slowly. Can he get the kill? He gets the kill on the uh, ogre golem guy. Boots of Quatalas. Farm going up. Oh, but this peasant taking a lot of damage. No, the peasant. Okay, nice move there. Boots of Quelton Loss, not that good. Also, Pelt of Giant Strength, also not that good. It's good maybe for the Mountain King, though. So I think it's a bit better than the Boots of Quelton Loss. The Footman does go down. I don't think there's like an agility hero you can take second in this matchup. So you can adjust your strategy. Like, it's usually either Mountain King or Panda, which are both strength heroes. Uh, don't think there's a Fire Lord second strategy. Or a Dark Ranger second. No, that's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. And that's it, right? For agility heroes. Fire Lord to the Dark Ranger. Archmage running across the map. Over here we see Yagami creeping this creep camp. He gets an info potion, but here comes a fact. And uh you know, beautiful fight here. Kills a peasant. Oh the there goes down. The Archmage goes for the first Sorcerer Priest. What a nice uh play so far. Nice play. Good man. We have a Berserker for Effect. Effect bought the Berserker. Sneaking the Berserker out. But Yagami maybe put, uh, expected that and debated the Berserker by. So he could kill the Berserker. But instead he loses his footman and the Berserker actually just escapes. So uh, Yagami's debate fell flat on his face. But, you know, he could have bought his own Berserker. Look at this, uh, the supplies right now. 34 for Effect. He has a lot of supplies. But Yagami's not tacking yet. Well, Effect is tacking. So Effect is tacking. Effect has more XP. Effect has a bigger army. Who's ahead? Well, it's uh, hard to say, Chaco. Now we have a level 3 Archmage here. Level 3 for Yagami. These footmen doing a, a bit of damage. Archmage helps uh, out a little bit as well. Oh, he surrounds the bottle metal. Can he kill the bottom metal? He's trying, he's trying so hard, but he, the footman had to go home. So uh, because of that, like the teamwork was broken. He was like the the, the key footman to this teamwork. Oh wait, he didn't get XP. He did not get the XP. I'm not sure if it just expired or the troll killed it. But I made sure to select this Archmage in time so I could see if he got the XP. And he did not get the XP. This footman is very low on hit points. This Archmage is level 3. He has boots now. He saw that boots of quality last. Now he has boots of speed. Here comes 10 Flamecaster though. And he picks up a nice ring of protection for free. Oh, this is Yangami's comeback. It's now 34 supply against 34. There's not that much difference in XP. He has more items. Uh, we see tech here for effect. We see a bit later tech for Yagami. Yagami with two Forestal Shadow Priests. He can dispel water elementals so efficiently, so effectively, so fastly. He's going for the farm. There goes the farm. This peasant here takes a bit of damage. This peasant is he dead? Ah, the peasant is totally dead. We have a level three archmage over here. We have a level three archmage as well. He uses the rejuvenation scroll, regen regeneration scroll is actually what it's called, but they might as well call it the rejuvenation scroll. Two berserkers for a fact. But does he have any first set of Yes, one of them. Can dispel one of these water elementals pretty easily. This one's gonna be dispelled. Bye bye. Oh, he only wants to use two dispels, so he doesn't get the XP yet. Can he get the kill? No, he's just hiding. Uh, water elemental. He kills his own water elemental. Oh, 
Archmage just just uh, scouting around a little bit. Realizes, uh, yeah, yeah. Desperately realizes, yeah. And he retreats. There's double Arcane Sanctum going up for Mr. Pink. Yagami. And, of course, a Mount King. Well, in the red effect, he is going for that Mount King. He's going for a double Arcane Sanctum. And he's going for these creeps. We're gonna have to fend. There goes another ogre. He's going for the first level warlord. First level warlord taking quite a bit of damage. The footman with the fend. Make sure the warlord does die. Rune Brazier's picked up here by the archmage. Uh, does he not sell it? Does he keep it for uh, his mount king against his opponent's mount king? That is smart, of course. It does reduce a lot of the mount king's stormbolt damage. Meanwhile, this archmage. He gets Scourge Bone Chimes. I mean, it's a really good early game. But it's not really early game anymore. But he still has six footmen and militia. So, for now, and a Mount King. So, for now, he might as well keep it. But he will sell it later, of course. Yeah, smart choice here by uh, Yagami. Yagami! We have a uh, Mount King over here. The Archmage is level 4 for effect. The Archmage here is level 3 for Yagami. Okay, let's look over here. So this Archmage is 82% on his way to level 4. So we definitely have a bit of an uh, XP advantage for Effect. And uh, Effect has a bit more supply. But that's like hardly relevant because Yagami has a bit more gold and lumber. Okay. Oh, but maybe we'll see an expansion here for Effect. Does Yagami do the same? Maybe, yeah. He has peasants. Probably, yeah. Probably the same. What is this? Archmage. Archmage has no fear. <laughs> this Archmage. Yeah, he doesn't care about Stormbolts. He has an info potion. He has a staff. Sure, if he gets Stormbolts around it, he's dead. I mean, he could be dead. He could staff out, but if he gets bashed, he's dead. So you have Claws of Attack here. Plus 9. Could give that to the Archmage. Here we have Mount King. He's still level 2. Another class. Okay, plus 50 damage now. Expansion going up. There's expansion also going up. Wow, how nice. I have 18 millisecond ping, guys. Do you see this? 18 millisecond. That's how you know I'm a professional caster. Making sure I have the lowest ping possible just for you guys. Uh, some nice dispels would be nice. Oh, nice. Nice attack here on the Archmage. With the birdies, the blue birdies. Archmage takes like a little bit of damage. Archmage just wants to kill this shop. But here comes the counter attack. But meanwhile, what do we see over here for effect? He got a nice amulet of spell shield. That's really nice against the Stormbolt. Really nice. This farm is taking a lot of damage. It is gone, guys. He's going for the next farm. Meanwhile, over here we have a footman. Harassing, very nice. This expansion is not up yet. Only has four peasants here. Instead of five. He's building the fifth one right now. Farm went uh, down and, you know, effect needs to defend. He has a shredder though. Shredder super duper powerful. This water metal. What is the Archmage doing? He's just moving forward with the nose first. This uh, priest is dead. Mountain King doesn't take the Stormbolt because of the Amulet of Spell Shield. Very nice to dodge there, or dodge absorption. I, I assume. You know, that's what it does. It absorbs the Stormbolt. Shredders Michael back. This priest is dead. This, these footmen have so long hit points. Can he kill those two footmen? That is something Effect wants to do. Yagami is uh, also going for these footmen. A lot of footmen. Oh, first set of priest. Bad spot. Yagami just kills it. Meanwhile, the Mountain King just is claritying up. He could probably... Uh, should have given those claws of attack to the Archmage, but still haven't hasn't done that yet. Nice Stormbolt here on this Mountain King. Yagami. He doesn't have the Amulet of Spell Shield. By the way, this Amulet of Spell Shield is almost done uh, cooling down. So he's immune to Stormbolts again. There goes another Priest. This Priest here is dead. Can affect Effect He's 15 supply behind. Maybe Effect is just going to die here, guys. Is this the end of Effect? Is Yagami just too strong of a player for Effect? Shredder. Okay, it's a shredder. Well, meanwhile, this footman. 
has killed two peasants. Three peasants, very low. He should probably kill these peasants. Hello. Why even use defend? The defend doesn't work against spellbreakers. Okay, peasants retreats. Stormbolt kills first to Shadow Priest. Uh, this water metal gets this spell. This other one as well. Stormbolt on the peasant. And a TP out here by Yagami. I guess uh, effect can hold on. And effect is under 50 supply. As long as he uh, can maybe now avoid the fight, stay at 50, buy some more time, he can make a comeback easy peasy. Just by not paying any taxes. Uh, Ch Chahi won. Okay. Nice. Players' forces are under attack. Arguments opens level five for effect. This argument is level four point six. It's Mount King almost level four for Yagami. Okay, I think you you guys have seen enough leaderboard. That's a, enough of an observer board for you guys. What item do we get here? By the way, a uh, flute. Oh, flute is good. Flute is just the Mount King plays beautiful music and everyone now is a bit more accurate with their attacks and because of that they do a bit more damage. But uh, what's Effect doing here? Kind of moved in, he wanted this uh, virtual warlord but couldn't get him this priest Chan survives for now. Yeah, nice. He's still alive. There's a zeppelin over here in the air. There it is. And it's water metal again and a footman. Killing peasants, effect with this harass very strong. A player's forces are under attack. I'm still surprised that he didn't stay under 50 a little bit longer and just went for the main. And forced that TP. And then TP'd out himself. This footman is dead. This Archmage is level 5. This Mount King level 4. Kills the troll. Nice kill on the troll. Is so big, level five and powerful. Mount King, level four, in the fire. In fact, oh, Mount uh, Archmage, he's not going to die, but he might be forced to TP. There's the TP. Stormbolt, he kills a priest in return, though. Rawr, rawr, rawr. In fact, is 61 supply. Yagami, 68. He still has his claws of attack on the Mount King. Which is a curious choice. Maybe he just thinks it looks cooler on the Mountain King. Wait, did no one creep? Yeah, yeah he did creep. <laughs> Hello, Chaco. We have a uh, Staff of Silence here on the Mountain King. Now he can use the Staff of Silence to shut people up like a like a Mountain King. And it doesn't, Amulet's Spell Shield doesn't get blocked. Or it doesn't block, I mean, the Staff of Silence. It also doesn't get blocked by Staff of Silence. They have no interaction with each other. There goes the Arcane Tower. And this main is under attack. He doesn't even go for the peasants. The peasants are just mining gold. Meanwhile, over here, this Arcane Tower under attack. Wow, one peasant is dead. Another peasant is dead. Arcane Tower is dead, guys. Another peasant is dead. Meanwhile, over here, we have footmen defending against the one spellbreaker. Effect TP's out because uh, Yagami TP'd in. Yagami 74 supply, effect 62 supply. Archmage staffs to this spellbreaker now. Help the spellbreaker out a little bit. He's like, hello, we're best buddies. Let's fight together. And now the spellbreaker killing peasants. But here comes Yagami, guys. Here he comes. And you know what is effect going to do? His Archmage is not here. Without Archmage, he doesn't have Brilliance Aura. He does have 2-1 upgrades on the Spellbreakers against just 1-0-0 zero, zero of, uh, of Yagami. So better upgrades for effect. This Mount King is level 4. This Mount King is level 4. This Archmage is level 5. 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 Sends another water ele elemental to harass this uh, peon line. This spellbreaker is going to help out the water elemental. Together they stand strong. But look at this attack. 
Look at this attack. This is the Yagami attack. Yagami going for the Sanctum. Nice silence there on the Mountain King. You can, of course, uh, spell break that silence. A player's forces are under attack. Mount King, level 4.7. Archmage has a healing scroll. Mount King has a healing scroll. Yeah, effect. No healing scrolls. But he has two two upgrades now on his spellbreakers. The spellbreaker doing a good job. There's a dead priest. This spellbreaker moving north. Okay, are they gonna fight here? Yagami against effect. A player's forces are under attack. They're gonna fight. Are they gonna fight? We have a Zeppelin now for Yagami. Pew, pew, pew. Hey, chewing. I mean, card up full. Kappa. Spellbreaker might get back here for Yagami. We have another Spellbreaker here in the front. Taking quite a bit of damage. And uh, Archmage gets storm bolted. Mountain King uh, in the front here takes a little bit of damage as well. He picks it up with the Zeppelin. Zeppelin is really strong in these mirrors, guys. But we have much better upgrade for effects. So let's see what prevails. Upgrades or Zeppelins. Uh, the Berserker goes down. Some water elementals getting dispelled left and right. Of course, we still have two uh, water elementals left. The Mountain King takes care of this one a little bit, at least. There are some dispels. Uh, <laughs> priest gets silenced. He dispels the silence, but loses one priest. And this uh, water elemental still alive. This water elemental goes down. We have a level 5 Mountain King for Yagami now. Argonor the Mighty. And well, this Mountain King is just level 4, but you cannot storm this Mountain King because he still has the Amulet of Spell Shield. So this Mountain King here, Sneaky, at the north, is uh, fighting against Spellbreakers. These spellbreakers are so strong here for a fact. Hello, they're two and two. And, you know, they're fighting. We still have uh, plan uh, one healing scroll here for Mr. Yagami. And the fact retreats. He does retreat beautifully. He's gonna buy a heal scroll himself. Meanwhile, did he send anything over here? No. He has a spellbreaker over there. Remember, there's no expansion here for a uh, fact. He lost his expansion, so it's, it's pretty much like two bases against one. So if he's not harassing, he's losing. Uh, unless he's winning the fight somehow, but uh, this spellbreaker might go back of course This water metal could be dispelled maybe a few times, you know, that would be nice Okay, there's some dispels this water metal could also, you know, this nice stormbolt on this priest by mr uh, Moon in iron cliff stormbolt on this priest he dies is a one stormbolt because this is level 5 mountain king This spellbreaker might go back very uh, cleanly Archmage in the front, you know, is it gonna attack he attacks the water metal? Nice uh, attack here by the Mount King. He attacks the Spellbreaker again. This Spellbreaker is totally dead. This Water Metal, is he, is he gone? First, the uh, Spellbreaker goes down. Uh, now another Spellbreaker goes down. This Water Metal, can he get rid of it? No, not yet. A nice bash there on the Mount King. Info Potion, Stormbolt on the Mount King. Is the Mount King dead or does he use the Info Potion in time? He uses the Info Potion in time because he's beautiful. And Yagami is not dead yet, guys. In fact, Yagami saving his Mount King there. Uh, it was pretty uh, crucial to winning this game. I mean, it's not over yet, but uh, if he lost the Mountain King there, it would be a close game. Uh, now that he saves his Mountain King, he's very likely going to win this game. Uh, but let's see if we can dodge this <laughs> Stormbolt with the Zeppelin. <laughs> Look at uh, this effect, Stormbolting, pretending to Stormbolt. Oh, this Mountain King is bashed, bashed again. Two bashes, Stormbolt, but he still has the Amulet of Spell Shield. And, uh, but he dies anyway. GG by a fact and the first game goes to Yagami. Let's see. This Archmage shows up. Yagami with the Archmage. Going for this creep camp. There's a rogue, two rogues and a renegade wizard. Soon as the water elemental. And this guy is going down slowly. The Archmage is helping as well, of course. The renegade wizard, is he dead? He is dead. <laughs> Circlet here for Yagami. What do we get for a fact? A fact he gets the Ring of Protection. Okay. Of course he doesn't want to pick it up, but he he still had to pick it up. And now the Archmage here, getting some more units. There's a uh, Tome of Strength. Summons a Water Elemental, and he's killing this rogue here as well. 
and he does pick up the cloak of shadows and he's now working on this on this wizard ah. meanwhile this archmage is doing uh yeah good job over here archmage summons the water metal go for the cobalt taskmaster Taskmaster is going down pretty fast. Over here we have effect. Killing a Taskmaster over here. Replenishment potion on the floor. And a Tome of Agility on the floor. He picks him up. He's gonna kill these kobolds. Nice job here. Nice job. Nice job done here by this Archmage. This Archmage Endermath is level 3 now though. Because he crapped this with the Militia at the same time. Well uh, effect is a bit slower. And that means we have a level 2 water elemental for Yagami and no level 2 water elemental here for effect. Oh, wow. They both have that uh, cloak, they both have that replenishment potion. Only difference is that the uh, circlet over the ring of protection. Now of course we also have the boots here for effect but it, he almost gets surrounded anyway. I mean, if he got surrounded, Yagami should have bought the dust of course because he can hide, he can cloak. This footman, this footman is he going to die? This Archmage walks so fast, but he doesn't attack. Hello. There he attacks. He attacks again. The footman. Oh, and a nice deny there. By Yagami. But this footman, does he deny this one as well? Or does he not need to... The uh, creeps will deny it. He sends one footman. But yeah, it's dead. Hello. Footman. Okay. So, in fact, he did kill two footmen, but didn't get XP. So, yeah. Great. Both Archmage is still very similar to the XP, maybe exactly similar. Yeah, exactly similar, uh, but not anymore. We have a troll that died there. Yagami picks up the items. Mantle of IQ, he's now even smarter. He has now 31 IQ against just 25. Wow, such a big difference. This is a six difference. Almost as much of a difference as a uh, Rope of the Magi. I mean, exactly the same difference. This footman takes a bit of damage, you know. Is this water elemental? Can he get a water elemental? He gets a water elemental and that's just so nice. Uh, I'm not sure we got the last hit there. This one went to effect. Oh, the heroes is working. The overlay is working for one of the players. That's nice. That is indeed Yagami's. Archmage. Perfect. We see a water elemental here for effect. One over here as well. The creeps are uh, pretty angry as well. We have the bunny blocking the water elemental. But the water elemental, he's, he didn't get surrounded. Nice job, bunny, but maybe try a bit harder next time. Archmage and the footman are retreating. And this water elemental he has a purpose. He has a job still. Arcane Sanctum's going up. Wow. Mountain King going up. Wow. Here, tier 2 is not up yet for Yagami. Okay, a bit faster attack this game for effect. Yagami just summoning water elementals to creep this creep camp. Can effect do something about it? This Archmage loses his, uh, his healings. Effect only his two foot man. Oh, this foot man. Retreating. Archmage uh, also, you know, cannot do too much. It's water metal fighting against a water metal. What can he do? What can he do by himself? Okay. Meanwhile. There's some Please priests. Are under attack. This illusion, don't don't be foolish. It's just a fake one. Hello, clutch. Hello. In fact, going for this creep cam now. The uh, illusion sees it. Yagami sees it. Yagami doesn't have a Mount King yet, though. Oh, his Mount King is about to be, uh, you know, about to be born. Boo -boo -ba -ba. And he's going for a priest, a dead priest. Yagami has a three supply lead. Here he comes. With the militia as well, but the item already picked up. Flute of Accuracy is such a good item in this matchup, especially. Mount King almost gets around it, but not quite. Stormbolt on a footman. This footman takes so much damage. Is he dead? 
He is dead. Archmage has to be careful, though. Is he dead? Oh, he... No, he should have just killed it. I mean, he went for the surround. Don't think he should have gone for the surround. Just right-clicked. And then there was a chance that he could have killed it before it would have been able to TP. Like, he, uh, he would have to TP anyway. But even if he didn't go for the surround. Because there was just so much uh, damage output. So if you don't don't get the, uh, you know, the kill, he will TP. But then, you know, in a better case scenario, you get the kill. Oh well, there's a water elemental here for effect, and he is going for this mud, muddy, muddy, and this muddy as well. I show boulder on this uh, militia. Both muddies are dead. What is this fight? Archmage against Archmage? He had boots, so he might have escaped then. No, no way. No way. No way. He was too low on hit points. I don't think it could have happened, you know. I think he just misjudged how much hit points he had. Maybe if, if he had like uh, 100 hit points more. Yeah, you're right, but... Students are dying. This footman. Taking a lot of damage from the Enforcer. Tome of Strength here on the floor. Does the Mountain King pick it up? He picks it up. And there goes a Brigand. The uh, Skull of the Beast is pretty nice here for the Mountain King. Why Sheik didn't play this qualifier? I'm not sure. I don't, show, I don't know. Blade also didn't show up. I don't know. Maybe they don't want to go to to GCS. Maybe they don't want to go to China. Here we have a Mountain King with the Flute of Accuracy. Singing some songs, killing some forest trolls. Nice. The priests are initiate. Okay, he's going for the farm. 54 supply here for Yagami. 50 here for effect. Can well effect has the expansion up. Yagami, of course, has no expansion up. So effect, all he needs to do is defend. And uh, just survive. And he's up in supply. No, he's uh, down in supply a little bit, but it's not that much down in supply. And he has, of course, more cast, more uh, spellbreakers. Actually, only one. Here we also only have one. But we have a lot of footmen. A lot of footmen here for Yagami. And an Ogre Mauler. And the Zeppelin. Okay. He's going for it, guys. He's going for it. But we have to <laughs> look at these pl uh, the placement of the Arcane Towers. He's just like, okay, if you're gonna fight me here, I'll fight you here. With these two arcane towers. Mount King is almost level three. The longer this game uh, goes, the more of an advantage effect gets, of course. Not only because of this expansion, also because of the Flute of Accuracy, right? The later this game goes, the more spell breakers you have compared to the footman, and the less militia you have. Quack! Quack! Stormbolt on a priest. The priest is dead. This water elemental here is gone as well. Spell breakers are beautiful. The ones here are upgraded even here for effect. Yagami, no upgrades. It's looking pretty bad for Yagami. What what is he how is he going to try to make this comeback? So Archmage is level four. Mountain King is level three. Well here we just have a level two Mountain King. But I didn't really get the rope of the Magi. He's so much smarter now. This food man is still alive. The Archmage tries to snap it, but no. Stormbolt on the Archmage. Can he kill the Archmage? He might have uh, yeah, he gives him an invul potion. Uses his own info potion on his mountain king. And I mean, in fact, retreats, loses the priest, loses the second priest. Is this the comeback? Is this Yagami with the comeback? No, not yet. Not yet, guys. But he has this, the Zeppelin. With the Zeppelin, maybe he can make the comeback. But it's two arcane towers. Good luck. This militia guy is dead. There's more militia guys. 
Stormbolt on something. Of Mother Kings, I guess they just stormboled each other. With flying sheep flying over the battlefield. He doesn't care that they're fighting. He's just far so far in the sky that it doesn't even affect him. The Mountain King picked up by the Zeppelin. We have a Zeppelin now for both players. The effect is uh, just picking up his heroes, moving them uh, around the battlefield. Can Yagami do it? I mean, his army looks powerful, but let's see. The upgrades are one, one for effect. Well, Yagami has no upgrades. He kills one arcane tower. That's nice, but there's still another one. And his Mountain King so long hit points, and the Zeppelin is taking a lot of damage. This Mountain King, is he going to die? He is dead, indeed, yes. And is that a GG? No, not, that, not yet, but you know, maybe we'll see a GG soon, that's all I'm saying. You know, I'm not uh, calling out the game or anything. Uh, there goes the Zeppelin now as well, and he drops the Spellbreakers. They're easy kills as well, if he goes for them. And the uh, Ogre Moller as well is so dizzy. Look how dizzy he is. He's like, uh, really dizzy. Oh, wait. No, he's not dizzy. Okay, never mind. Only these guys are dizzy. Dizziness. Uh, this unit is dizzy. Well, that's nice. This footman is uh, dead. This spellbreaker here can be killed easy peasy. 71 supply for effect. 45 for Yagami. And do we see the equalizer here? We have a level 5 Archmage now. And there it is. GG. And now it's 1 to 1. Why doesn't Yagami use Death Note against the opponent? Because he defeated Death Note earlier. Yagami defeated the Death Note earlier. That's right. We have an uh, Archmage, Lannister, against a late Archmage. What is this build? Different build here for effect. He's going for a slow Keelan the Seeker. Lannister here is just creeping. Killed the Ogre, Claws of Attack, going for the next troll. And now we have one more troll left. Well, over here we see, we see Keelan the Seeker. Just killing some kobolds. Yagami fast altar. Effect not late. AM but normal. Oh, okay. Effect going for normal <laughs> timed Archmage. This Archmage was just a bit earlier. Two claws of attack here on this Archmage already. He bought one. He must have bought one from the shop. And what can he do here? Yagami. He's already four supply behind because of this early Archmage. His barracks was uh, later. I assume. Here. And Yagami doing, uh, trying to do some damage while well, creeping here with the militia. And is he was he attacking? He's attacking already. Super early attack. The water elemental did get dispelled though by the first troll shadow priest. Good job. And his footman takes a bit of damage. You know, one shot by this archmage that does plus twelve damage. He's level two now. Just like this Archmage, who has a lot of mana. So much mana. Water Elemental retreating. He doesn't want to die. There's a four tall Shadow Priest that can dispel him. And, uh, you know, he doesn't want to be dispelled. Oh. Ring of Protection on the floor. Does he pick it up? Does he, uh, he picks it up. This four tall Shadow Priest is dead. He has, uh, that's it, you know, does he surround this Archmage? No. This Water Elemental, pretty long hit points now, though. Could go for it, he goes for it. Summons another Water Elemental, he got a Ring of Protection, not very good. But he's almost level 3. This Archmage with the Claws of Attack, it doesn't seem it has paid off yet. Hi Chaco, hi, hello. Uh, YJDR12, hello. A player's forces are under attack. This Archmage, he wants these footmen, he wants them. He wants at level 3, but he can't get them. The footmen are too fast. There's a first troll berserker. Oh, the Archmage. Almost. He got almost got the Archmage. Okay, well the tech here is a bit later for effect, of course. Okay, Vault is beautiful. For Yagami. And Yagami, is he going back to effects base? Oh, he sees the opportunity to right click this Archmage, but he has a ring of protection and he gets level 3 off of a water elemental. So he's even stronger now. He has as much mana as hit points. Exactly the same. As Archmage got a nice attack off on this peasant, but the peasant gets away. The peasant. 
Here come the foot band. What, can, what do they do here? They're just scouting. Nice scouting by the foot band. The Archmage summons a water elemental and he's going for his ogre warrior. Hello. Chaco, shall you be streaming the LW Cup tonight? Uh, I'll think about it. We'll check it out. Maybe. There's a tome of strength on the floor. Does Archmage pick it up? He picks it up. He's so strong now. Meanwhile, these footmen fighting against these footmen. Archmage summons another water elemental. This force tool. Shadow Priest does retreat. Is he going to die to... Uh, oh, we have Naga. Naga for Yagami. There, the force tool. Shadow Priest does die. We don't even have a tier 2. Oh, we do have tier 2. For... Uh, effect. These footmen very long hit points. He wants to kill one, but... Oh, this Archmage so long. 30 hit points. 11 hit points. He gets away. Attack. Gets away. There's a Mount King. This Archmage, what can he do? Don't get sniped, Archmage. One shot, one kill. Wait, did he get, no, he gave the gloves to the, the Naga. So it would have probably been two shots. There's a peasant over here. A player's forces are under attack. We have an aviary going up. He wakes up the creeps with the Naga. Let's see. Yagami, 31 supply. Effect, 35. Is it tier 2 up yet? Uh, wait, what? A Griffin aviary. He's going to castle. Is this like... Okay, he's not playing very standard, by the way, guys. This Ogre Magi, very easy to kill. Can someone kill it? Okay, Yagami. Oh, the Stormbolt. Did the Stormbolt hit it? Yeah, Stormbolt got it. But the item, of course, went to uh, Yagami. A nice potion of greater mana, but he has to be careful. This Mountain King, he has more Storm Bolts, and this hammer just hurts, and he throws at the fish. And the fish, he has a TP, so he can TP out. The Archmage, of course, also doing a bit of damage. He does t TP out. This Archmage will survive. He's going for the Griffins. Does effect know about the Griffins? He's going Priests. He builds a Lumber Mill. Is he going for a Tower Rush, perhaps? He has some trolls. Trolls and priests and towers. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. The water elemental was scouted. He sees it. And he knows. And now that he knows, what does he do? What does he do? He's building more priests. And is he going for a sorceress? No. No, he's building more priests. Is he, uh... Is he going for sorceresses? I mean, Griffins... I mean, against Griffins, you can get sorceresses. I mean, if there's no spellbreakers... Yeah, sorceresses are great. They are the Griffins. Oh, he's going for an expansion? He's going for an expansion, okay. Archmage level 3, almost level 4. Modi Stonesmith. Level 2. Over here for uh, Yagami. Level 2 Archmage. Level 2 Naga. Archmage. Pretty close to level 3. He's using Militia to help creep. We have a Tome of Agility over there for anyone that's agile. Or that wants to be more agile. These are both intelligence heroes, of course. Footman shows up. And uh, he goes down. Monty King killing some trolls. Archmage level 4 now, the Mount King. Level 2 with the Gloves of Haste. Peasants here building this town hall. Okay, he's going for some Dragon Hawks. Yeah, sure. And he's getting Dispel for his priests. But we have two Griffins already up. Third Griffin being built. And does he have the upgrade? Not yet, right? I assume not yet. He has a paladin now. Paladin. Or maybe he did get the upgrade already. A player's forces are under attack. Mount King level 3, Modi Stonesmith, Archmage level 4, here come the Griffins, 3 Griffins, 
Building another one. Tower goes down fast. That's the first dragon hawk, isn't it? Expansion is up. But he has two berserkers and a lot of water elementals. And the first of Shadow Priest even. He stops the first uh, Griffin away. Go back home, Griffin. This dragon hawk. Let's be careful. He is careful, guys. He flies back. He is not just gonna sacrifice himself. Actually, he was not super duper careful. This might have cost him his life. Okay, I mean, uh, the Dragonhawk is still alive. No, he does retreat. He's dead, guys. The Dragonhawk is dead. Some dispels there. This water metals uh, get dispelled. We have a sorceress now, by the way, for slow. This one gets storm bolted. Does he cast it slow or does he. Uh... No, the sorceress cannot reach the slow. And the, the Griffin now gets away thanks to that. He's so happy. He's so lucky. Such a lucky little Griffin. Meanwhile, Footman being annoying over here. They should not be uh, attacking the Water Elemental. They should be standing here on hold position. Hello. Water Elemental does uh, expire, so it doesn't matter. Oh, these Griffins can so easily kill this tower. But look at this army. It's so big, so strong for effect, even though it's behind the supply. It just looks so strong and powerful against Griffins. One Griffin went down. This Griffin gets staffed out. This Footman, uh, you know, they lived a happy, great life. Dragon Hawk. He wants to kill the Dragon Hawk. And the Dragon Hawk does go down. The Paladin in trouble though. There's no staff stone cooldown. The Paladin is dead. Nice knowing you, Mr. Paladin. Of course he wouldn't have died in the next patch. His movement speed would be so much better. He would have easily survived that. Hello, Footman. 54 supply against 53. Supply is pretty even, but we have tier 3 here for Yagami. But we have an expansion here for effect. The more Dragon Hawks he gets, the more effective they are. If we can shackle all the Griffins, they will just be heroes. Just heroes. Yeah. Murlocs are all dead. We have a nice evasion here on the Mountain King. Oh, a little raccoon. There's a sorceress. And there's a dragon hawk. Does he have invis, by the way? No. Does she get invis? No. He's getting more dragon hawks. Three dragon hawks here. That's a lot of dragon hawks. These footmen, they, they won't survive very long either. He's going for the militia. I'm not sure if Yagami can do this. This Berserker maybe if can get a flank attack on the Berserker. I mean the Berserker gets away. But no, he doesn't get away. There's a nice shackle on the, the Griffin. And there's some more shackles. There's only one the Griffin still attacking, guys. You see four of these little lineys. So the, you know, we have five dragon hogs. Oh, uh, the Griffins, I mean. One dragon hog does go down. So now we're down to three dragon hogs. Uh, this one is still alive. This dragon hawk is being focused a little bit. Meanwhile, over here, the Archmage is doing just fine. And the uh, dragon hawk went down. We have only one dragon hawk, and it kills the uh, griffin. So now we're down to four griffins. Do we have a staff here for this griffin? No, he already used the staff on something. Meanwhile, the peasants here attack moving. They're pretty strong. Water elemental goes down. So many water elementals now without the dispels. They're so powerful. Hello. Naga takes a bit of damage. Now we uh, see this, this griffin. It is going down, and it went down fast. And do we see some more storm bolts? Stormbolt on the fish. She has an info potion. Nice attack there by the Mount King. Info potion used there by the fish and the Mount King. But the next Stormbolt is not gonna be friendly. It's gonna be a very mean Stormbolt. No stuff. I thought it was waiting for the Stormbolt so you could starve her while the Stormbolt was in the air. But no, I was wrong. Sometimes even I am wrong. Yes. And this means that effect wins 2 to 1 over Yagami. Congratulations to Effect, you will move on to next week to face a very powerful enemy. GG.